Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM1019, welcome to Monkey Island 2 Special Edition, LeChuck's Revenge. Alright, so we, uh, about a month ago we completed, um, Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Uh, I said I'm doing all these games in order, and I'm actually really excited. I, uh, I had a great time with Monkey Island 1, so, uh, this is gonna be first time playthrough of Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge. We're uh, on the special edition on the Xbox 360, and there's also 12 new achievements to grab. Uh, not a whole lot to say. I'm really excited, so let's get into it. Oh, here we go. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. I just want to... Wow, big difference. <laughs> it's kind of a long story. That's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, <clears throat> Scab Island. That's how the DOS version started too. That's really cool. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Holy cow, this game looks so much better than the first one. That is amazing. Ha! You can tell... You guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter you... a ship and get off this stinking island. You can tell they put a lot more effort into making this one look good compared to uh, the old game. But... Alright, part one, the Largo Embargo. I just want to check something. Oh, wow. Okay, so this system... Okay, that's all my belongings. I get it. So, holy cow. See, see, Monkey Island 2 bat, and 1 and 2 looked very similar back in the day. They they had kind of the same engine. It's using the scum engine. Um, all right, let me make sure I can grab my bearings here. Oh, those idle animations, too. That's really cool. Uh, why does that make that flash? Wait. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Alright, hold on a second. I need to... First, I gotta turn the subtitles on. This is gonna get hard to follow. Um... Alright, there we go. Okay. Um... I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? Ah! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. <sighs> Who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? <laughs> I rough someone needs roughing up on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Okay, so I'm. we're just starting. Whoop. I gotta stop pushing that button. So, Largo took everything. 
He took all of our money. All right, so this game works entirely differently. So, Monkey Island 1 was a point and click. Oh, that's going to be tough to get used to. Okay, so in this one, I actually get to move uh, Guybrush with the analog stick instead of pointing and clicking. Um, the left bumper is making this shine. Why is it... Why is it lighting up this sign? Okay, that's my objects window. Oh. Welcome to Woodtick. No treads or hunting zone. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Interesting. Um Okay, and the hint system still works. I can pick something up from the sign. Oh, that looks like a shovel. Can I pick up the shovel? Oops. I think I broke the sign. Yep, that's a shovel. Okay, I got a shovel. I don't know what I'm going to need that for, but that's going to come in handy eventually. All right, so uh, what I was saying, once again for this playthrough, I am employing the use of the universal hint system to keep myself on track. Oh, shoot. Go back in there. Uh, talk to Woodsmith. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Okay. So, that... He instantly said we need a, uh... We need to get a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. We're probably going to have to talk to the voodoo lady. Uh, Mojo's International House of Voodoo. Um, Alright, like I'm going to leave this guy alone. Okay, but don't touch anything. He, he'll probably come in here helpful later. Look, get out of there, Guybrush. Okay. Uh, I still don't know my way around this island very well, so I'm going to have to do some looking. What's the this sign say? Bar and grill. Okay, that's a bar. There's an open ship here. What is this? Nice. Uh, nice. Can, you go, can you go inside? There we go. Men of lore, low moral fiber. Uh. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. Not what I'm clean, asking, old clean, man. Clean. <laughs> Who are you? Okay. Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. Uh, okay, Oops. well. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. <laughs> Alright, I don't think Mad Marty can help us right now. Um... Let's see, so we're going to have to, from what I can tell, we're going to have to make some money, um, and um, I'm probably going to need to get my stuff back from Largo. Well, let's go into this bar. Hello. Oh, that's, uh, it's Wally. Hey, Wally. I can't reach it. No, not... Talk to the cartographer. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, the chuck-busting stud. Uh-huh. He... I don't think he believes me. Oh, don't... Don't touch I the map. I can't reach it. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Um... I'm Guybrush. Hi, Who are you? I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed, at your service. Uh, do you know about do Big Whoop? Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Nobody, I'm freelance. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Are you, Are you looking, looking for, for Big, Big Whoop, Whoop too? too? Well... I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? Uh, I know it contains unimaginable wealth. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? 
No, tell me. No, tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Uh, why don't you, well, why believe, don't it? you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. Hmm. Some story. Wow. That's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Okay. Uh... I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Actually, I'm trying to leave. Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With a sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Alright, so there's an, there's an embargo on sailing off of Scab Island, which really doesn't help me. Do you know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab <coughs> because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, where's the, where's governor's, the governor's mansion? mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This okay, is that makes sense. an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. Uh, Thanks. okay. That's all I need to know. Okay, but don't be shy if you think of a question. Thanks, Wally. Uh, Thanks. I'll go. I gotta go. Okie dokie. All right, don't think there's anything else I can do in here. Uh, let's go into the bar. Come on. Oh, it's going to take a while to get used to this movement system. Talk to the barkeeper, I guess. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Uh, how's business? how's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Lagrange. Uh-oh. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Yeah. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Huh, okay, hey, well. Hired help only. Hmm. Alright, so we need to get some money. I can't reach it. Oh, for crying out loud. Just look at it. Reads Jojo. Appearing no, that doesn't help. No cover charge. Alright, let's leave here. I think I can get a job at this bar. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, well, let's go looking around some more. Hello. Whoop, don't how did I get back in here? Leave. Oh. Can I take his monocle? Oh, okay. That monocle's gonna come in handy eventually. I, I just bet it will, but... Um... What is in here? Oh, I was already here. Okay. Alright, let's do some more exploring. There's a ship here. Innkeeper. Hmm. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Hmm, that don't help. Alligator. 
rope. All right. Well, the start of this might be a slow burn, folks. Strap yourselves in. Let's go the other way. Oh, that's right. This can... Oh, I see. So this tells me... So left bumper tells me things I can look at. What's this? Help wanted. One week ah. salary in advance. Inquire okay. More. Help wanted. So they're hiring. Let's talk to the barkeeper again. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Uh, saw I the saw sign. What's sign the job? Outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Huh. Okay, he needed a cook, but he's got one. Maybe we can persuade him to leave. Um. Okay. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. By the way, this is still here. I hate to think about this, but can I pick this up? I don't want to touch it with my hands. Okay, I'm guessing I can, but I would need something for it. Um. Hmm. Okay. So. There's a window here. Can I get in the window? Oh, okay. Alright, well, that's good to know. Can I take this knife? I can. Uh, let's see. So... Okay, we're gonna need... I'm not gonna bother talking to him. He's not gonna help me right now. <laughs> yeah, smooth guy brush. All right, um, let's go back this way. We still need to find this international house of mojo. Uh, can I? There we go. Ah, hello. Okay, if I know anything about uh, Monkey Island, the International House of Mojo is probably somewhere in the swamp. Yep, here we are. Why are there... It looks murky. It looks murky. Why are there three different parts of the swamp? International House of Mojo. Okay. How do I... Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Okay, use the coffin, I guess. Oh, here we go. Bunch of bats around here. Alright, here's the voodoo lady's shack. Alright, I got some string. Bottles. Alright, what's gonna make the voodoo lady come out? Hmm. We've got us. Oop, no, 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 no. Shoot. Alright, go back in there. All right, so I've got string. Can I take the skull? It appears to be bolted to the table. That would be a no. Okay. Um. Hmm. Maybe I can't. See, I. Oh, hello there. Ah, here she is. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah. We often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root. 
and how to turn it into the powerful ghost dissolving potion you needed. Oh, no, yeah, the. Now I remember. Well, I, okay. Well, I kind of skipped out on seeing her in the last game, I guess. The the Campbells told me more about that than you did. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history. I got rid of him myself. True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Ominous. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Hmm. What, what do you need? What ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take this shopping list. Ah, that's Thanks. helpful. Now go. Okay, well, I guess that answers that question. Let's get to it. So, I think that one room in the hotel is probably being, um, is probably in use by Largo. And we can probably get some stuff that we need from that room. So, let's go see if we can cause a little trouble. Oop. There we go. Okay, let's go back to Wood Tick. There's a beach over here, too. Okay, so... Something of the bodily fluids is definitely going to be that spit on the wall. I just don't know how I'm going to get that yet. Uh, let's go into the inn here. Oh, he's got a cute little pet alligator. I wonder what would happen if... I used the knife it's on the rope. The post. I, I know that guy, Brush. Use knife with rope. There we go. Hey, how don't peg biter get loose? Wow. I'd Alligator's fast. Catch him before he catches somebody else. Alright, well that got rid of him. Let's uh see if we can just waltz into the door then. All right, he's not here. There's a toupee. Can we take this? We can. Anything else in here that we can use? Leftovers. Oh! Let you into my room. I uh, thought it was my room. Well, it ain't. So get the f out of here. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> well, that happened. Um. All right, well, there's that. Um, we got his toupee. I don't. I, I think that's going to count as uh, something of the head. So let me just clarify that. Uh, yep, okay. So that's, uh, that's one ingredient we need. Something of body is the fluid. I'm going to have to figure that out later. Uh, something of the dead... Uh, let's go see if there's a cemetery around here. I bet you that's probably why we needed the shovel. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, uh, there's a cemetery down here. Inside the cemetery. Oh, no. Alright, let's take a look at these crosses. Stan's casual crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Oh, Stan. <laughs> Here's 
Here lies Nibbles the dog. He was a bad dog. We're glad he's dead. <laughs> Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's look at these tombstones. The grave of the unknown pirate. Okay, not that the one. Grave of the unknown cabin boy. Not that one either. The grave of the unknown drunk guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. <laughs> not that one either. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. Uh, also not those. These spots reserved for our okay. privileged future customers. What about this one? Ah, all right. There once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed. She got buried. <laughs> okay. How about this one? Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. I think it's that one, but let's, uh... No man commanded Jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. Jean did whatever he did please. Until he kissed the gunner's daughter. <laughs> Here okay. lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood. Jim took every risk he could. A life of action. That was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. <laughs> okay. All right. So I think this is the grave of Largo's relatives. So let's take up our shovel and bear <laughs> for the treasure hunter on a budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is let's, a creepy uh... feeling. Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Guy Rush. Where on my grandfather's grave? Something weird is going on. <laughs> okay. All right, we got a bone from uh, Largo's grandfather. I don't think we need to be here anymore, so let's leave. All right, two items down. We know where the third one is. Oh, come on, Guybrush. Come on. I keep looking away, and he's stuck. There we go. All right. Um, what's on this beach? Oh, this is where I came from. Okay. So these guys ain't going to help me do nothing. Um, hmm. What's this? Steaming weenies. 20 feet. Oop. There's a shack here. Mm, looks closed. Does it now? Can I open the door? This door appears to be locked. Nope. All right. That's going to come into play later. Let's go back to Wood Tick then. Come. I don't know where any of the path is, pathings in this game. All right. <clears throat> All right, back to wood tech. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm, you know, actually, I don't think I'm finished screwing around with Largo. Maybe there's something else, so... Oh, okay. Um... Hang on. There's a laundry... Oh! That laundry! Yeah, alright. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's the rat! Come on. Can I take this... Can I take this bucket? Leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Okay, thanks. Um, there's a box here. Nice. I'm gonna need this rat for something. Um, I gotta figure out how to trap him. Let's see. Um... Hang on one second. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, so can I pick up this box? It won't fit in my pocket. Well, okay. Um, can I open the box? I can. Uh, yeah, so... Alright, I'm gonna need a few other things here. I've got a bucket. Um, alright. I'm gonna have to come back. Let's go back to the beach. Go to the beach. I think I need something from here. <clears throat> Can I pick up this sign? I doubt it, but. I can't pick that up. There's a log here. Should be a stick around here some somewhere that I could use. Unless I have to sit on the log. I mean, I doubt I can use the log. Oh, it'll let me sit, but... Um... Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. Okay. Uh, so why don't you kick Largo, you off kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no. Not this story again. <laughs> How's, How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not getting anything I need from these guys. I need a stick. Do we have any weenies left? There isn't one over here. Looks like there's something you can pick up here. Yeah, no kidding. But oh, oh nope, that's Fink. Um, no, 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 don't go anywhere here. I'm sure there is. I just gotta find it. Ah, there it is. All right, we got a stick. Let's head over to the peninsula. Let's go back to Wood Tech. I think I need to tie string. the string with. Oh, you stick with string. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll come back to that. Um, I'm gonna need some bait for this rat, which I think, I wasn't paying particularly good attention. I think I can go back into the inn. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the bowl here. Cheese squigglies. One of my Ooh. favorites. That sounds good. Let's take up some of those. Okay. Um... All right, so I think I got what I need. If I go over here, and then if I open this box, I think I can, let's see, let's open the box. Ah, okay, use the, I get it now. Uh, use the stick with the box. There we go. Use the string with the stick. And then cheese squigglies with the box. And then I'll wait for the rat to go over there. I might have to chase him over. There we go. I think it's yo-yo string. Pull the string. Come on. Gotcha. It won't fit in my pocket. Okay, well I trapped the rat. Um How do I get him out of there? Oh, I can just open the box and take the frightened rat. Ah, okay, there we go. Cool. Hey, unlock some concept art. Neat. Okay, so with this rat, I can enter the window.
Okay, he's making this here. Oh, wow. Don't talk to the cook. Why not? Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Okay. Well, I was going to be nice to you, but I don't want to be anymore. It's a cold so, potato and leek use soup. captured rat with whatever this is. This is a cold soup. And, uh... Then I will just no glass leave. In and go in the main hatch. Oh, go down the hatch. Get, get there you go. Let's talk to him about that job now. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Uh, that job Is available that yet? Job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Uh, how's hey, the stew? Yeah, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How goes? We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. Yeah, that sounds good. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at <laughs> all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? That went well. Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Uh, sure, I'll give it a shot. Or how much does it pay? How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Uh, yes, please. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go Money. on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. All right, we got some money. Uh, so... I think I'm going to need this for something. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Or not. Um, well, I'm here, so now what? Do I just... Can I take anything? I hate fruit cocktail. <sighs> Chances are I could probably just leave, but... I'm not sure... Let's go make sure. Hang on. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, it doesn't really say anything. I guess he did say there's no customers, so I can probably just leave. Alright. Uh, so I've got a rat. Uh. Well, no, I, I had the rat. I don't have the rat anymore. Um. That was just to get the money. Okay, so I got that. Uh, let's go to the swamp. I think I can use this bucket and get some some swamp or some of the swamp here. Um, some swamp water. That's what I'm looking for. Looks murky. Um, use bucket with swamp. Wow, whole bucket of mud. And it's All right, mine. cool. Oh mine. <laughs> All right, got some mud. Let's head back to Woodtick. All right. So, let's go back into Largo's room. Hopefully, he isn't there. Innkeeper is still trying to track down that, uh, that alligator, thankfully. Let's go in here. Good. Let's close his door. It doesn't seem to stay closed. That's fine. Let's use the bucket of mud with his door. I think I hear Largo coming. Cool. Hi, Guybrush. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? 
Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, <laughs> somebody's gonna be real sorry. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Well, I can have a closer look around his room now. Uh, what's in his drawer? It's already open. Okay, look at it's it. Empty. All right, never mind. Um, let's close this door again. Uh, huh. Am I supposed to have noticed something? Claim check hidden in the room. Close the door and you'll find it. Oh, don't tell me I have to prepare this again. They look pretty old. I don't see a claim check here. It doesn't seem to stay closed. Yeah, that that's great, but I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. Nice. Leftovers, leftovers, leftovers. Huh. Um. I have a feeling I might have... Maybe I might have skipped a few steps. Um... Okay. Claim check. Alright. This might be connected to a flag. Let's open the door. It doesn't seem to stay closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the... Whoops. It's empty. Open the door. Let's go to the laundries and maybe that'll flag this. I don't know. Oh man, this movement system's really strange. You're making me mad, Marty. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight. Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Okay, he's probably gonna... That, that probably was what I needed, so if I talk to Mad Marty, he's probably not going to be that, that much help. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? Yeah, he need, need, needs a claim ticket. Okay. No, I don't no, have... No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can <laughs> hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. All right, that's fine. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay. So... Because we made Largo go to the launchers, that's probably what flagged the uh, the game to put a claim ticket in his room. So we should be able to go in there and get the claim ticket. At least I hope. Alright, close the door. There it is. I'll be taking this. Open door. Leave. Okay. So now let's go grab his clothes. Hello, Marty. I've got a claim ticket for you. He looks nice enough. Use claim ticket with Marty. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? <laughs> ah, here it comes. What? A bra? I okay. I nice April fresh scent. Okay, I kind of want to know, and at the same time, I kind of don't. So I'm just not going to ask questions. Um, so that's. Th Three... is that four? Hang on. What do we got? We got the toupee, the thread, the bone. Uh, oh, we just need to figure out how to get those fluids now. 
Uh, let's see. So, Guybrush isn't going to pick those up with his hand. So, let's see. Yeah. Maybe Wally's got something we can use. Hello. Let's see, there's his bed. Maps. Pile of paper. Let's look at those. It's a pile of blank paper. All blank? Oh, surely he'd mind if we take some of those. Alright. Okay. Back to the to the bar. You're supposed to be cooking. The knives needed sharpening. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Eh, okay, whatever. You already paid me. <laughs> Great recipes from the International House oh. of Mojo. Page 139. On Helen's special oh movies. no! Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. I know that. Okay. Use paper with strip spit stripping down wall. Uh, yuck. All right, our ingredients are assembled. Let's head back to the International House of Mojo and bring these to the voodoo lady, and she'll make our voodoo doll. To the swamp. Uh, whoop. Use the coffin. Keep going, guy brush. Come on. Okay, let's go over this way. Back Hi there, Mr. Threepwood. Uh, about that voodoo about doll. That voodoo doll. Have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. Pay. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? Yeah, I have a I spit. Have some of the spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have a bone of his grandfather. I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? For whatever reason, I have a pearly white bra. I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last, now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. <laughs> This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? <laughs> Lago, Lago, yeah. What did she look like in the old game? Hey, oh. that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. Alright, I'll have to get very close to make that work. Eh, whatever. I was I just wanted to. Wow. Okay. Alright, that's enough voodoo for me. Yeah, that's Bye. Enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Okay, so we've got a voodoo doll of Largo. We're just going to have to get close to him. 
Uh, let's see. So let's get out of the swamp. So, it looks like the best way that we're going to get close to Largo is something we've been doing already, just by going back to his room and waiting for him to show back up there. Uh, stick the pins. Well, do I have... Oh, I got... He, she gave me pins. Okay, wonderful. <clears throat> Okay, let's go back into his room and just wait for Largo to show up. Hey, oh, he's already here. here. I don't want to be that close to him. Get <laughs> out of my room and stay out. Oh, what the heck? All right, I hang on. Didn't I kick you out of here before? Use Voodoo oh, Doll with pins. Ooh. Take <laughs> that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. Oh, how are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no good, vicious, two bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes. LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> all right, well, that got rid of Largo. It's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten. Partially decomposed. Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. All right. Well, what can what I do? What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah. I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth. And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue finds in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, let's be gone. All right, one last thing I think we need to do in Wood Tick. Um... I said that Wally's monocle was probably going to come into play, and I'm pretty sure it will. So let's go get that from him. Okay, go back up to Wood Tick. So LeChuck is probably going to be brought back to life. Um... And we we're gonna have to deal with it. Uh, let's go see Wally. Hello. Hello, Wally. Just gotta wait for him to put down his his monocle. There it is. Pick up. Okay, bye. 
Where's my monocle? <laughs> See you later, Wally. <laughs> Sorry, but I need it. Alright, so there's one place left on Scab Island we haven't taken a look at, and that's the pen peninsula. Let's check out what's going on down here. Okay. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Okay, well, we've got more than that, so let's... Head into the houseboat. Convoluted path. Uh, Captain Dredd? Hello? Uh, Captain Dredd? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dredd. What can I do for you? I need I to need charter, to charter a, ship. a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it. My eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Well, I've got, um... I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. I've got a monocle of a man who charts maps. Game. And so then he's technically seen the world. Whoops. Go back in there. Where are you going? I'm not moving you. Stop. Go back in there. Get in the... Come on. What if I gave you a monocle? Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? Again, I need to charter tar, uh, charter, need charter a ship. Charter ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lagos been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Well, I have much more. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. <laughs> All right. We did the Largo Embargo, and we're on to part two. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies... Let Chuck's fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to All right. Big Whoop. So, the ghost pirate LeChuck has been reincarnated as the zombie pirate LeChuck, and we're on to the second half, or second part of the game. So, this makes this a good place to stop. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the uh, videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And, of course, check me out at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. More on the way. Until next week, folks, take care. Bye-bye.